Good day all. Today in this video, let's see how we can configure journals in Odoo 40. So what are journals? Journal is a record of all transactions of a company in order by date and all accounting entries recorded through journal entries that shows account names, amounts and whether those amounts are re recorded in debit or credit side of accounts. So first let's open our accounting module and under configuration you can find journals. Uh, so just open this, click that menu. So you can see all the created, all, all the created journals, pre-configured journals and created journals for journal name, then journal type. Then if you have created journal groups that also can be seen here and also uh, with the company name. Okay. So just click create button and create a new journal. So inside the form you can provide journal name, then type that is journal type. So basically there are uh, five types of journals. Sales, purchase, cash, bank, and sales. So sales means post uh, sent customer invoices, then purchase used to post received vendor bills, and then cash, it is to track daily cash transactions as well as recorded customer payments. And we have bank that shows additional uh, tab that is same as cash, but we have an additional uh, section to set the bank account, account number and all. And we have miscellaneous operations uh, that is miscellaneous type. So this miscellaneous, uh, it records miscellaneous entries like payroll, then record transactions that doesn't fit uh, to above journal types. So if you select sales, then you can see some accounting information that have, uh, contains uh, that is profit account, loss account. That is, we have to set, we can set profit and loss account for our sales journal and we can set a default incoming account. So the income account that you have set here will become the default income account for this journal. And you can see dedicated credit, uh, credit note sequence. So if you check this box, uh, then uh, if you don't want to share the same sequence for invoice and credit notes made for the made for this journal. And here we can pro we have to provide short code. So short code is used to easily identify a journal, it can be like some letters combined together it can be given here then we have advanced settings for sales journal so here you can see control access section where we can control the access so for controlling access we can uh, set uh, allowed account types so for that account types only this uh, journal will be allowed uh, then we can set allowed accounts for this journal. And it is also possible to lock post entries with hash. So when invoice or accounting entries are posted, then hash is generated. So it cannot be modified. And then you can see an op option that is electronic data exchange. That is, we can use electronic invoicing and send uh, XML or EDI invoices. Then here we can see create invoices upon emails and it is possible to configure email servers for this journal. When you click on this, you can configure email servers. And okay, then we can see a section that is payment communications. So here we have two fields, communication type and communication standard. So communication uh, for communication type, uh, you can set here a default communication that will appear on customer invoices and once validated to help the customer to refer to that particular invoice when making the payment. And we have, uh, so here we can th find three options that is free based on customer or based on invoice. And you can see communication standard. Uh, so by default, it is Odoo. 
So you can choose different modes, uh, models for each type of reference. Then here we can see a section that is uh, follow customer payments. So this is a new feature in Node 14 that is to automatically plan or schedule activities on follow up reports. So when you when an invoice is created for the customer and when the due date is reached, uh, that is on the due date, an activity will be planned or scheduled. So that activity will be the activity that you set here. So if you set email, then that activity will be planned automatically at the due date. So here we can set the activity user, activity summary. Okay. So we have done a detailed video on this topic that is auto activity scheduling for customer payments or customer follow-up reports. You can check that video if you want to know more about it. Okay. So that's the sales. Then when you uh, select the purchase, for that you can see default expense account. Then under advanced settings, uh, we only have control access and create invoice upload emails that options. Then we have cash and bank. So for cash and bank, you can see a new tab that is for payments configuration. Uh, when you choose bank also, you can see payments configuration. So here we can set incoming payments and outgoing payments for your journal. So under incoming payments, you can see outstanding receipts account. Uh, that is incoming payments, uh, entries triggered by invoices or refunds will be posted in on outstanding receipts account and displayed as blue line in the bank reconciliation widget. So during the reconciliation process, uh, concerned transactions will be posted in this account instead of the receivable account. And here you can see three, uh, four methods uh, for incoming payments. Okay, that is when select manual, then get paid by cash or check or any other met method outside of Odoo. And then if you check electronic, then it get, we can pay uh, automatically through payment acquirer by requesting a transaction on a card saved by the customer when buying or subscribing online. And uh, in case of batch deposit, uh, in case several customer checks at once by generating a batch deposit to submit your to your bank. So when encoding the bank statement in Odoo, you are suggested to reconcile the transaction with the batch deposit. And then you can see outgoing payments. Uh, here we can set outstanding payments account. So for uh, outstanding payments account, uh, that outstanding payments and is triggered by bills or credit notes will be posted on this account and displayed as blue lines in bank's reconciliation widget. So during the reconciliation process, concerned transaction will be reconciled with entries on this, this account that is outstanding payments account instead of payable account. And here we can set a currency for the outstanding payments. And we can see uh, methods. Uh, so method can be, you can see it is manual. So manual means pay bill by cash or any other outside of Oro. Check means pay bill by check and print from Odoo and we have SCPA credit transfer. That is pay bill from SCPA credit transfer file you submit your bank. Okay, so under advanced settings, we can only find control access uh, options. And here, uh, that is for our cash journal, we can set, we have to set suspense account so bank statements, transactions will be posted on the suspense account until the final reconciliation, allowing the, uh, allowing finding the right account. And we have to set the short code. Okay, then if you select a bank, then you can see an additional option under journal entries that is for bank account number. Uh, that is bank information like account number then bank feeds. So bank feeds are used to define the way in which you need to import the bank statement for reconciliation. So 
you can see three options here undefined yet automatic automated bank synchronization and import option and when you select miscellaneous you can only find short code under accounting information and under advanced settings for control access And uh, here we can find company name for your journal and GST in unit. Okay, so let's create a sales journal. Let's give a name, test sales journal. And the type is it as sales. Okay, so if you want to give profit or loss account, you can give that. So as short code is mandatory, I have to provide that. GST and okay so here I have set other details okay so let's see this so a sales journal is created with the names test sales journal you can see that with that sales Then, okay, so journal is created. Now, when you come under accounting, you can see uh, miscellaneous, and miscellaneous journal entries, then you can see journals. So you can create new journal, that is new entry. When you choose journal entries, you can see all the journal entries created. So it is by default grouped by, that is filtered by miscellaneous. So if you close, you can see all the journal entries. And it is possible to manually create a journal entry by clicking this create button. So when you click that, you can see the page to create journal entry, that is form to create journal entry. And here we can give the name, then you can provide reference for your journal entry, the counting date, then you can set the journal here. So here, let's select the journal that we have created just now. Okay, I'm choosing test sales journal and can set a currency for your journal. And here we can add the journal items. So I'm going to add a count. I'm choosing cash account. And we can set a partner here. Then we can add labels or analytical tabs, tags if you have uh, enabled that. Then here we can set currency, it is already INR. Then we can set the debit amount here. So I'm adding 50, this 50. Then again, I'm adding another account to balances. So let me choose creditors. And again, I can add a partner here. Then we can add credit. Okay, it is already added as 50. So you can see it is balanced. So general items are added and under other information. If we can set like post automatically, uh, then we can set reverse, then we can set to check. Okay. We can also add internal note for this. So after this, uh, let's save this, or if you want to post the journal entry, you can post this. So now it is in draft state, and you can post this by clicking post. And if you want to create reverse entry, you can create from here. So when you come back, you'll be able to see when you filter it by sales, here you can see the journal entry our journals test sales journal and you can see the status is posted with the total amount so just open this so you can see the details that we have provided before and we can create journal reverse journal entry for this also so this is how we manually create journal entry and uh, we can create it like 
automatically like from in create invoice that is by creating invoice or creating bill we can do that so let me create an invoice and show how this is done Okay, so we can see the journal here. So we can change it to test sales journal. So on a journal item, you can see that those things that is items here. Okay. It can be posted automatically also. Okay, so now just I'm confirming this invoice. and can register the payment. Okay, so when you come under accounting journal entries, just close this machine this. Okay, so here you can see the uh, new entries added here, automatically added here with the partner name and that is we have given the customer name and you can see the journal. So you can see the total amount here. And you can see this paid, already paid. You can see the journal items here. Okay, so this is how we create journals and create journal entry using uh, the created configured journal in order 40. If you are interested in knowing more about this or looking for any order implementation or customization in your business, drop your request to odo at cyprocess.com.